Greetings everyone and welcome to the next video in my lecture series on differential equations. We're still working on Laplace transforms and in this video we're going to solve another initial value problem using Laplace. This time our example will be a second order differential equation. So as you can see our example is we're going to solve y double prime minus 5y prime plus 6y is equal to 4e to the t where y of 0 is equal to 3 and y prime of 0 is equal to 8. So let's get started. For our answer, we're first going to take the Laplace transform of both sides. And to make it um, more obvious what exactly it is we're doing, I'm going to rewrite, rewrite the uh, differential equation y uh, double prime minus uh, 5y prime plus 6y is equal to 4e to the t. And uh, generally my 5s look like my s's, so I'm going to really try to make sure that my 5 here looks different than my s. Uh, when we take the Laplace transform uh, of y double prime, we get s squared y sub s, capital Y of s, minus s lowercase y of 0, minus lowercase y prime of 0. And what we've done here is we've that uh, entire expression within the brackets is the Laplace transform of the second derivative, which you can get from your Laplace transforms sheet, minus, and I'm going to make, try to make this really clear that that's a 5, um, the Laplace transform of y prime, which is s y of s, capital Y of s, minus lowercase y of 0, and then plus 6, capital Y of s, is equal to 4 times the Laplace transform of e to the t, which is 1 over s minus 1, so we get 4 over s minus 1. And I want to make sure that it's clear that the second set of brackets here, the s y of s minus y of 0, is the Laplace transform for y prime. Okay, so um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply our initial conditions. Now I'm just going to scroll up for a second and remind you that our initial conditions are that y of 0 is equal to 3 and y prime of 0 is equal to 8. And so the ones that we're going to be substituting in are this one, the y prime of 0 the y and the y of 0, these three here. And when we substitute them in, we get that s squared, capital Y of s, minus 3s minus 8 minus 5 capital y, uh, sorry, s capital y of s plus 15 plus 6y of s is equal to 4 over s minus 1. It's really important that you be able to tell the difference between your transforms capital Y of s and your lowercase initial conditions y of 0 and y prime of 0 here, because otherwise you'll get yourself into a tangle. Now, the neat thing is, if you look here, we don't have any derivatives left. All we have are some s's, some y of s's, and some um, uh, coefficients and constant terms. So now we're going to solve for y sub s. Factoring it out, there's a y sub s term here, and in this term, and that guy using my highlighter pen. And so we're going to pull out. Hold on just a sec while I turn my page. We're going to pull out the s squared minus the exaggerated 5 times s plus 6 onto capital Y of s. And now we're going to move all the other terms to the other side. We're going to get 3s minus 7 plus 4 over s minus 1, and then y sub s is equal to 3s minus 7 over s squared minus 5s plus 6 plus 4 
over s squared minus 5s plus 6 onto s minus 1. Now, this is a case where we're going to need partial fractions, and my recommendation here is to combine into a single term first, or a single fraction first. So don't do partial fractions twice. So y sub s then is equal to 3s, oops, 3s minus 7 onto s minus 1 plus 4 all over s squared minus 5s plus 6 onto s minus 1. And if you uh, FOIL out the 3s minus 7 onto s minus 1, and then add 4 to, get 4 to it, you get uh, 3s squared minus 10s plus 11, all, all over s minus 1, s minus 2, s minus 3, by factoring out the s squared minus 5s plus 6. Now this is, again, going to require partial fractions. Um, and you've got uh, um, some choices here for how you do this, um, but the common thing is to write out that uh, 3s squared <clears throat> minus 10s plus 11 all over s minus 1, s minus 2, s minus 3 is equal to a over s minus 1 plus b over s minus 2 plus c over s minus 3. So these are all linear factors, and so linear in the bottom, so you only need a constant term on top. Now you could do what we did in our other examples, which is multiply both sides by the common denominator, um, and uh, then substitute in values of s. Um, I'm going to choose to do the uh, cover-up method which we can use because these are three distinct factors. Uh, you don't have to do it. You can do the other method that uh, I just mentioned. Um, but to do the cover-up method, you're going to say that a is then equal to um, our full fraction, a s squared minus 10s plus 11 over s minus 1, s minus 2, s minus 3. The cover-up method says that you cover up the uh, term on the bottom. So under A, you have an S minus 1, and that's the term we're going to cover up. And then you evaluate it at the value of S that makes that go to 0. So we get that S is equal to 1. And so substituting S equals 1, we get 3 minus 10 plus 11 gives us 4 over um, 1 minus 2, so negative 1 times negative 2, so positive 2, and we get 2 here. Similarly, b is equal to 3s squared minus 10s plus 11 over s minus 1, s minus 2, s minus 3. The term we want to cover up here is the s minus 2 because that's in the denominator of the b term. We want to evaluate it at s equals 2, which is the value that makes that guy go to 0. Putting everything in, we get 3 over negative 1 gives us negative 3. And then for c, we get 3s squared minus 10s plus 11 all over s minus 1, s minus 2, s minus 3. The term we want to cover up is the s minus 3 term. Evaluating at s is equal to 3, gives us 8 over 2, and we get 4. So, back to our differential equation. Well, our equation in capital Y of s. 
we get that y of s is equal to 2 over s minus 1 minus 3 over s minus 2 plus 4 over s minus 3. And now we're going to take the Laplace tra uh, inverse Laplace transform of both sides. And we get a lowercase y of t is equal to 2 e to the t minus 3 e to the 2t plus 4 e to the 3t. And that's our answer.